Target found. The PS3 is a PC. It really is. You could install Linux on it with a feature called Other OS. Until a certain Sony removed that feature. But have no fear. Sony takes Hacker Spring back. We will install Red Ribbon Linux, a Debian based distro, which SteamOS used to be based on. Until SteamOS 3.0, this PS3 will be a steaming pile of deck. Ah, this console really is a favorite of mine. First, we put a few files on a USB drive which is done. To launch Linux, a bootloader called Petit Boot is needed. Now that Petit Boot is set up, we launch Petit Boot and from there, Red Ribbon Live. It took a while, but look, it launched. Believe it or not, so far, this has been the easiest thing I've done on this channel. But you know, it never stays that way. Oh, and did you know that Saddam Hussein used to have a supercomputer with PS2s and the US Air Force used to have a supercomputer with PS3s? That's interesting. My first mistake is not far away there's no partition to install Linux on. But I wanted Linux on the hard drive. So I opened Petit Boot again to type in the commands needed to partition the HDD. Optimistically, I carried on launching it once again. And of course, it froze. But this will not stop me from achieving my dreams. So I use a proven method called pulling the plug. So after another reboot, we are inside of Linux again. But surprise, surprise, still no partition. You know what? We can still do most of the things this has to offer. So I look through the built-in programs and surprisingly, there's plenty of them. And this time, we were connected to the Wi-Fi internet browser. We launched the browser and yeah, it's slow. Not as slow as Windows on the Android phone. You really get to feel the full power of the 200 megabytes of RAM. I tried to open YouTube and to be fair, we got into the website barely because nothing was loading. But that's no surprise. YouTube is extremely resource hungry. So I tried something easier. I I googled Android x86, which I installed on a PC in my first video, and we can look through pictures of it. We can't open the official page though, guess the browser is just too old. I wanted to see what else this Steam Deck has to offer, and we have LibreOffice, and yeah, it works. This will sound crazy, but you can actually be productive with this monstrosity if you really have nothing else at all. I also decided to try out paint and drew something. What were you thinking, huh? At last, I tried to peek a look under the hood with NeoFetch, but this distro has no NeoFetch. But with this command, we can view some interesting things about a CPU. So here, take a look. I looked up if I can install emulators or games on this, but didn't find anything. But if there's interest, I will look further into Red Ribbon and if there's some gaming related applications on it. But hey, if I want to play games, I could play on a Philips CDI. Oh, and the PS3 plays games too. I was really surprised with the amount of things you could do with Linux. No, I'm not an iPhone user. You know what else runs Linux? My switch! Turning devices into something they aren't is something I usually do in this channel. So if you're interested in that, go watch my other videos.